Cash stumped Zimbabweans accustomed to queuing to make withdrawals whose limits have been progressively slashed now face the prospect of not getting any cash at all. The Bankers Association says it will, in line with central bank policy, allocate cash to forex generating exporters ahead of individual clients. This will assist the country to build a sustainable foreign currency earning base, it said. A raft of export earnings have helped boost Zimbabwe's export earnings, which were about $4 billion as at the 29th of September, outstripping the entire 2016 receipts of $2.8 billion. But the impact of that improvement is not being felt on the ground, where despite alternative transaction platforms, people are still queuing for cash and will be adversely affected by the new guidelines. There are things that can't be paid for using Swipe. Little day-to-day -day things like vegetables from vendors and transport. There are people who've spent the night here, woken up this morning, missed work, pretty much put the entire day on hold just to wait and queue for cash. It's just gone midday and only now has cash been delivered to this branch. The expectant clients have no idea how much has been brought in or if they'll be lucky enough to be on the receiving end. If I don't get cash today, I won't be able to go home because I don't have money for transport. Many here don't see an immediate end to the long-running crisis and tell me monetary authorities haven't done enough. Experts argue that in addition to long-term strategies such as cash priority lists, authorities should also pursue short and medium-term measures. We also need to increase remittances from diaspora remittances because they don't have a cost element like exports I have spoken about. At one billion, it's one billion revenue with no cost. So it's another category of inflows that is very important to promote. But what is more important is that under dollarization, it is very difficult to sustain that situation when we don't have support, some form of liquidity support. Zimbabwe is currently running a facility from Africa's bank to stabilize nostril balances. It's also engaging other international financial institutions to resume financial support programs. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.